All right, what's up, you guys? Time for another video, and this is another video in a series uh, of uh, who not to elect president, what to expect if you do. Uh, I had to look up his name, and I forget how to pronounce it still. Buttigieg? 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 Whatever the fuck it is, but uh, yeah, the uh, guy which uh, he, he mocks traditional uh, Christian values, so to speak, with his arrogance. With his arrogance, I saw on a, a, uh, the TV news the other day, he's take those shots at, like, uh, Trump or whatever the hell. Not that I'm uh, a warrior for Trump either, but literally mocking anybody else that has family va values that are straight people. Uh, when you elect somebody as president, I, it's, like I say uh, in other videos and other places, it's just fucking revenge politics. Uh the guy's a poster boy for, if you elect a poster boy for heterophobia, which, yeah, the word heterophobia should be used way more often. And there'll be, yeah, there's going to be people marching on the, uh, out there in Washington, D.C., the march against heterophobia, because, uh, you know, there's going to be, uh, heterophobia is going to be a household term, because when you get somebody as a president, you know, with maybe some intentions of, it's, well, don't get me wrong, it ain't too much to ask if somebody is gay or accused of being gay. Don't threaten to shoot them, don't beat them up or anything, everybody knows that. I I definitely don't want a part of that, I understand that. But, when you get these people that, oh, there's all this, stop the hate, stop the hate. But, they don't talk about the hating on the other side, you know, the unforgiving hating on the other side, the stigma against somebody who's proud of their own. Uh, biological gender and uh, maybe that just says live and let live whatever floats your boat you know don't just don't force it on me that's considered homophobia and transphobia now you know even though you don't have to threaten to shoot anybody you know I'm telling you that's what it's gonna turn out you know uh, uh, the next generation kids will come crying that they're bullied but it will be uh, they'll be slammed against the locker a boy boy or a girl and they'll They'll be crying. Watch the future. They'll be running home crying. They're yelled heterophobic, uh, hetero heterophobic uh, slurs and be slammed against a, a locker because they act and dress their biological gender. So with the tables, they'll be turned, you know, give it. When they legitimize that little by little, it's supposed to be about tolerance and common sense. Nobody beating anybody up or nobody shooting anybody for who they are. But, yeah, if you hire... Yeah, I, I almost said hire. That's basically what they're voting for, but yet hiring because they're paying them too. And they want to raise the price. Whoever becomes president that claims they're for the people, they want to pay raise for their cells and for their followers first and give money to all their criminal friends and kick back to all their friends first. I don't give a fuck if it's a Democrat, diehard Democrat, diehard Republican, diehard socialist. First agenda for every fucking president is pay raise for themselves, pay raise to all their uh, friends rewards uh, in the form of grants, grants and subsidies, uh, uh, bribes in disguise. Um, so yeah, you get the poster boy for heterophobia becomes president. Anybody who feels too good about themselves for being straight uh, and don't walk around whole hanging their head in shame that they're supposed to feel some extra empathy and shame and you're not kissing ass enough. Uh, you know, you'll have the gay rainbow on the police car that's in some of these communities now, you know, they'll be patting you down and slamming you against the cement police cars, because you have they'll, you have their busy bodies and everything, that all somebody's transgender or gay all they have to do is feel threatened you know, you're walking around with a cocky look on your face, and you don't worship their government uh, or their Bow down, you don't bow down to transgender canis or you're going to be thrown into the fiery furnace, you know. Uh, instead of making things better, that, they, they're, that they're pitching this to you, that they want to make things better and make things more tolerant, uh, what they'll actually be doing is perpetuating more fear and then encouraging their followers to, all they have to do is feel threatened, you know, uh, if you're straight or whatever and... Uh, you get harassed, you know, because uh, uh, it's the fear of getting beat up or shot because you're gay or because you're trans. 
and his gender or whatever, which you shouldn't be doing anyway. I don't condone that. I don't want to be a part of that. But, you know, they're still they're perpetuating fear and hate. And they claim they're not hating, but they're flaunting it on TV, laughing in our faces and act like all they want to do is be under, be understood. And they don't Oh, all they want to do is live their life without fear and all that. And they want to uh, create new uh, teachings in schools now that are supposed to be to educate the kids maybe to not bully anybody or beat anybody up or hurt anybody. Nothing wrong with that, but um, it's going to be a new generation that, uh, that they want to break the, the next generation of kids' spirits, break their spirits and turn them into uh, obedient uh yeah, obedient uh, worshiping of the new moral platform. It's basically a neo-socialist, you know, gay rainbow thing. You know, not I, people want to have their rainbow parades. I don't give a, I can give a fuck, but uh, but it's turned into they're doing a little thing. You know, once you get a, they get a leader in there of a particular uh, belief. Okay, that has a you get a, a leader with any particular idealism. Not you, not you. Don't wish harm on them or anything, but you still have to. No matter who the fuck it is, you have to have something in there in your constitutional rights. So there's no chip. It's dangerous to have them in there and be able to just force any idealism and make it law, so to speak, without no check on its power. You know, without violating some. And then they pitch it to you that, oh, we got to violate. That we're not what we're doing. We're not violating your rights. We're trying to. Uh, we're trying to prevent uh, fear, and and they're actually perpetuating the fear, and then pitch to people that this is what we're going to do to save you from the fear, save all our followers from fear. Uh, anybody that's straight or proud of their own gender. See, if I have a ponytail and a beard, right, and but I still, I'm proud of my uh, actual gender that I am, you know, that I was born with. Uh, I'm considered dangerous, you know. I mean, I should be dressing in some brighter color and maybe wearing a dress once in a while. But if I walk too much with a cocky look on my face and do too many knuckle push-ups, that's crossing over into toxic masculinity, some kind of competitive will to be strong, and it's considered something that's potentially violent, you know. And meanwhile, they've got fucking people inside of their own culture that's Fucking Silence of the Lambs culture. Buffalo Bill and Silence of the Lambs. Uh, Hannibal the Cannibal was right in a sense when he said, uh, told Jodie Foster. When he told Jodie Foster, right, what does the guy do? He murders women. No, he covets. You know? Identify as another gender because you're actually coveting envy in their gender. You know? That's, well, people don't want to hear that, you know? 